You may want to pull out your hair, but really, is that the best strategy? Embracing and understanding the neurodiversity of students with ADHD is essential to the success of building empathy for students with ADHD. Building empathy through picture books for ADHD in the classroom is an even better and more powerful evidence-based strategy. The storylines and characters in picture books can help the whole class to develop a deeper appreciation for differences in the way their classrooms, their classmates work. As long as the stories are relatable and the teacher works with the children to build the bridge between the character, who is other, and themselves, students can grasp the perspectives and experiences of their peers with ADHD. Hi there teachers, Marian Busfield here from Engaging Curiosity to empower you to take charge in the classroom by supporting you with evidence-based classroom management strategies and resources. Classroom management is often overwhelming at the beginning, but with the right strategies and resources, you will master the classroom behavior and pave the way for dynamic instruction. I am a faith-led, married, mother of two, grandmother to one, outdoor enthusiast, and retired teacher. My passion is to share what I know about teaching to support this wonderful new generation of teachers. Videos will include topics on my five pillars of classroom management, which are building classroom community, classroom expectations, differentiation in instruction, social emotional learning, and classroom organization. Look down below and find the link to download my free classroom management checklist. Inside the checklist, you will find my five pillars of classroom management broken down into steps you can take one at a time. A goal setting page is included to help you get organized and prioritized with the needs for your unique classroom. Download the checklist now and set your goals today. I appreciate you sharing your time with me today, so let's dig in. By using picture books for building classroom community, teachers can contribute to a compassionate and inclusive learning environment. Using inclusive strategies for ADHD in the classroom cultivates a sense of acceptance and support for students with ADHD and promotes a culture of empathy among and for all learners. In order to effectively nurture empathy and an inclusive learning environment, picture books for ADHD in the classroom need characters with ADHD that are depicted in relatable and positive ways. Following are the author's titles and summaries of a few recommended books. My Brother Charlie by Holly Robinson Pete and Ryan Elizabeth Pete. My Brother Hard Charlie by uh, Holly and Ryan is a heartfelt picture book, picture book, sorry about that, picture book, that explores the experiences of a young girl named Callie and her twin brother Charlie who has autism. My Brother Charlie specifically addresses autism. It shares themes and insights that can resonate with neurodiversity, including ADHD. Narrated from Callie's perspective, the story celebrates Charlie's unique qualities and highlights the importance of understanding and accepting differences. My brother Charlie portrays the challenges and joys of growing up with a sibling who has distinctive needs. It emphasizes empathy, compassion, and the bond of love between siblings. Although my brother Charlie does primarily focus on autism, it can serve as a valuable conversation starter about neurodiversity in general, including ADHD, and it may be a little bit less on the nose than a book on ADHD. The narrative encourages children to appreciate and embrace the differences in their peers, and promoting a sense of inclusivity and understanding. This book beautifully captures the essence of unconditional love and acceptance within the context of neurodivergent experiences. I especially love listening to it read by the author, Holly Robinson Pete on YouTube. Now I found this next book to be very charming and the connection with animals will help to make a strong connection between many students. All Dogs Have ADHD by Kathy Hoopman is a charming and insightful picture book that uses the characteristics of dogs to shed light on the experiences of students with ADHD in the classroom. The book draws playfully upon parallels between the energetic, curious, and sometimes distractible behavior of dogs and the traits associated with ADHD student behavior using pictures of dogs. The engaging illustrations and simple engaging text highlight the various ADHD student behaviors such as impulsivity, hyperactivity, and difficulty with focus. Using animals as a catalyst for developing empathy has been found to be effective. Like other picture books for ADHD in the classroom, All Dogs Have ADHD highlights the positive aspects of the traits that are similar to ADHD student behavior. 
These traits help students to see the unique qualities that make students with ADHD in the classroom unique and engaging as opposed to weird. Use discussion to introduce children to the idea of ADHD through this and all picture books for ADHD in the classroom. And the book becomes a valuable tool, tool for creating an ADHD inclusive classroom in a lighthearted and non-stigmatizing manner. As Dr. Hallowell, a leader in diagnosing and understanding individuals with ADHD will tell you, ADHD once diagnosed and supported can be a blessing for everyone. I love that all dogs have ADHD uses humor and a love of animals to help students to see that neurodiversity is a natural and wonderful part of human variation. Picture books for ADHD in the classroom that use storytelling for ADHD understanding provide insight into the experiences of students with ADHD in the classroom and they also promote understanding and acceptance among peers. Use the books as tools for initiating conversations about ADHD in classrooms. Using picture books for building classroom community is a recognized and valued instructional strategy for teaching social emotional learning skills like empathy. Adding the practice of using storytelling for ADHD understanding is just the natural next step. Picture books for ADHD in the classrooms contributes to building empathy, breaking down stigmas, and creating a supportive atmosphere where children can embrace differences and celebrate neurodiversity. Picture books are a powerful inclusion strategy for ADHD students and other students in your classroom who are also different. I appreciate you sharing your time with me today and I hope you join me again soon. Take steps to calm the classroom chaos one step at a time. Please remember to use the link down below to uh, my free classroom management checklist. See you soon. So why do read aloud sessions with interactive discussions work for building empathy? Books serve as powerful tools to educate, enlighten, and foster empathy. In the context of picture books for ADHD in the classroom, incorporating books that feature diverse characters, share personal experiences, or provide informative content about ADHD can be instrumental. The books above recommended for storytelling for ADHD, understanding, educate students about ADHD, but also promote understanding, empathy, and a sense of community within the classroom for all of the students. Integrating literature into all areas of the curriculum enables you to open up discussions, enhance awareness, and contribute to a supportive atmosphere and deepen SEL in your students. We know that teaching uh, students social emotional learning or SEL is not a one and done and that students need opportunities to practice. So weaving picture books for ADHD in the classroom provides that opportunity outside of regular SEL instruction. And picture books for ADHD in the classroom are really just picture books for building classroom community. They support your goal of building a learning environment where dis differences are celebrated and every student feels acknowledged and valued. Building classroom community makes everyone's life and your classroom management easier. See these picture books as an opportunity for creating fantastic creative writing prompts that align with the inclusive theme or have students create posters during art that share what they learned. These posters can be shared throughout the school. Interactive discussions, artistic projects, or even role-playing activities that relate to the characters or situations presented in the books broaden a student's perspective on student with ADHD in the classroom. These strategies for supporting students with ADHD also provide creative outlet for your students, develops oral language, writing and presenting experience, and these activities further contribute to a dynamic and inclusive learning environment. It's a ripple effect, a tsunami of effective learning even. By including picture books for ADHD in the classroom, you're empowering your students to showcase their strengths, deepen their empathy, and creative inclusive classrooms for their peers. For more on this topic, please consider my video, how to be identifying students with ADHD in primary, or how to understand the impact of ADHD in the classroom. Meanwhile, I appreciate you sharing your time with me today, and I hope you join me again soon. Take steps to calm the classroom chaos, one step at a time. Thanks for joining me. See you soon. I appreciate you sharing your time with me today and I hope you join me again soon. Take steps to calm the classroom chaos one step at a time. Please remember to use the link down below to uh, my free classroom management checklist. See you soon.